Hey guys, and welcome to my Sonic Forces Speed Battle Wishlist video. I'm gonna start this off with a disclaimer, because everybody loves those. My opinions. You don't have to like them. That's it. If you want to talk to me, feel free to. Just You don't have to like my opinions, and they're my opinions. So, not saying they're right, not saying they're wrong, it's just how it is. Of course, I'm not gonna say they're wrong, but my opinions. Uh, I'm just gonna be going over some things I'd love to see in the game. Uh, either returned or added at some point. Some that I've been wanting for a long time, and some that are just, you know, some things that I've wanted since recently, or who knows what. But with that, I hope you enjoy it, so let's get right to it. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to be going over, or things I should say, are actually changes that were made in Seasons 1 and 2, respectively. The changes to the tracks, and the changes to the stats. In Season 1, all the tracks were changed to be a lot shorter, made much easier to just be on, like there was less obstacles, they took a lot of obstacles off the tracks, and they added a lot more items. This removed a lot of player strategy, and this made the game significantly more spammy. Like, I honestly cannot properly describe how much spammier and less enjoyable the game got. Yeah, I know, I still play it. <sighs> anyway, um, those were not really wanted changes because they made the track so much shorter. It was really fun playing on like the extreme difficulty tracks, like Spiral Heights and uh, Red Gate Ruins. Trying to outsmart your opponents and last the whole way through. like That was awesome. There were different pathways to take. It was fun. And then they took that all away. The new tracks were lovable for a little while, and then they took everyone's stats, well, almost everyone's. They left, like, Amy's and Knuckles' stats and stuff for some reason. Just how they were, and just messed with them. Then you have characters like Chaos, who's considered to be very annoying. I don't know if I can really consider any character overpowered because everyone is out of balance at this point. Like, sure, there's a lot of people using all the different kinds of characters, and that's great, but with the stats all being moved down and taking a lot of the stats out, like uh, strength and acceleration, don't get me wrong, they're still in the game. They just lowered the numbers so much that they don't always serve a large purpose except for the few characters that are specifically given high stat totals in those categories. So what I'd love is to see the stats return to how they were so that we don't have characters like Silver who are 666 and so slow that they can't really get anywhere, or Sonic with literally three strength, like, if you get, if you bump into an obstacle on the track, you're done. If you're trying to outrun someone at the end, you're done. Silver will you're done. The game was a lot more fun. Like, if you need to tune Sonic so that everyone doesn't use him, go for it. You, you can tune his stats a bit, that's perfectly fine. The rule of 21 was good. Everyone having the same total stat points was good. That was great. I loved it. A lot of people did too, and then there's some people who like the new ones. And this is why I put that disclaimer at the beginning of the video, because not everyone's going to agree with me. I'm not... I don't expect a lot of the things I say in this video to actually be added back or into the game in the first place, but a guy can dream. That's why it's called the wish list. The other thing would be to put the tracks back. Or, how about this? Instead of getting rid of the new versions of all the tracks, have both. Have the new ones make them exclusive to the prestige tiers. Or I say the new ones. Bring the old ones back and make those exclusive to the prestige tiers. Call them hard modes of every track. Since they're a lot more challenging, they have pits and actual item placement. You could make a second game mode, you could just put them in the prestige tiers, 8, 9, and 10. And then everyone could play on them again once they get to the top. They could compete on the real tracks instead of these new spammy tracks that aren't that fun for high tier play. Because 
it's fine if it made it better for all the people at lower tiers in the game. But at the competitive level, like, and by that I mean, like, anybody fighting for top 10, top 20, basically anyone in the top 100, honestly, it's really sucky. Like, having played this game for many, many months since late, very, very late last November and early December, it's not the same at all. But yeah, just imagine, Red Gate Ruins Hard Mode is the exact old Red Gate Ruins track and it's in Tier 10 only. Like, that's how you could do it. You could have the easy tracks and some of the medium tracks in Tier 8, and then the other half of the medium and the hard tracks in Tier 9, and then the extreme tracks in Tier 10. That'd be awesome! And the tracks are already made! So it's not like you'd be building new ones from the ground up. At least, I think, I don't know exactly how the game development goes. It's probably more complicated than just snapping your fingers. But the tracks are made, and you wouldn't have to get rid of all the new tracks you made either. Just think about it. The next couple of things I want to talk about are just kind of uh, smaller mechanical changes. I mean, they're still kind of big, but they're not the same as add in every old version of the track and um, put all the stats back. Um, so the first one is jump height. Uh, at some point, it was just straight up like lowered. Uh, please put it back. It would be really nice to be able to jump over things without clipping them. I really don't know why it was lowered, unless it's to make people get hit more. In which case, it's not fun. It's not fun. That is not... Um, they're fire boosts. I've said it a lot. I'll probably keep saying it for a while. It sucks to get hit by it. Especially after you get frozen, or hit by... Chownado, or respawn from falling into a pit, any number of things. It sucks so bad. Please, please nerf it. Wind boost. So, no one really complained about that ever. Like, and by that I mean, really nobody ever complained about wind boost ever. Like, it was one of the, like, just fairest boosts in the game, I think. Its duration was lowered a lot, and it was slowed down a lot, so it's worse than Illusion Boost. That's... I don't think that's fair at all. I really think it should be put back in its original state. I, I know there's others who feel this way, and there's probably some that don't, and that's fine. That's just how I feel. Again, this is my wish list. Lightning! Um, a lot of people will know that Lightning isn't the most useful projectile. Yes, it can be spammed, and yes, there are strategies that involve using it, especially for Shadow. I know of a couple people who popularize some strategies that usually involve using lightning to push people into clouds, essentially, by making them panic, switching lanes, and then going straight into the storm cloud instead of getting hit by lightning. Especially on rails, that generally means that no matter what you do, you're probably going to get hit by something. Some of the ideas I've had in making it more useful would be like um, trying to make it like how Fire Whirl is to Fireball or Tornado. Like, just let's say you have Motobug, right? That's the projectile that you upgrade it and it gets more uh, uses. So, like Whirlwind and Fireball. So, with Lightning, instead you upgrade it and it has a short or a longer stun duration. But make, you can make it an actual projectile that just goes through stuff and it goes faster the more you upgrade it. It might not do a ton of damage, but it could be useful and maybe not a super, like, gimmicky ability that way. It's just a suggestion and I don't expect everyone to like it. I don't even know if I'd like it for sure, it's just something that could be done. Friendless. I don't really think I need to explain this much. Having a way to play casually with friends and keep track of them all would be fantastic. And maybe it's already being worked on. I don't know. But people have been asking for this for a long time, so who knows. But I had to throw it in there. How about tournaments? It'd be really cool. Maybe the person at the top could get like a title or something. A uh, bunch of rewards. I don't know, man. It'd, be just, it'd just be cool to have in-game tournaments. You could even like organize them. They probably wouldn't have rewards if you had a custom one. But like, just, you know, for like 
maybe you're some kind of notable community person or YouTuber or something, you want to have a tournament and give them a prize. Just another casual play mode, or even competitive play mode, that could be very interesting for people. There's also Seasons, and they're okay. It doesn't replace the actual sense of pride and accomplishment that you got being on top of a static leaderboard. Like, static just necessarily being that it didn't get reset every month. The, the sense of being on top of Seasons, the Prestige leaderboard in Hall of Fame, isn't as strong now because of how spammy the tracks are, how bad it feels to play the characters, and how just the game's balance has kind of been thrown out of whack a lot. Um, also, prestige points aren't really that great for stuff. Uh, maybe make them do, like, you could buy, like, skins or something, maybe. Um, titles, backgrounds, music. Who knows? On the topic of music, uh, could you add in more music, please? Maybe Sunset Heights or Redgate Bridge for the city tracks, maybe being able to choose, uh, adding in even Green Hill, Green Hill from Forces, I, please, it would be super nice. Yeah, I understand if, like, the lyrical tracks would be especially difficult, but, like, just having proper music for every area would be really great. And then even having a wider variety of music, like this is getting more into the sketchy dreamland territory of features I'd love added in, but like having a menu where you can set different songs to certain uh, tracks or something. As redundant as that sounds. But I think, I think that'd be cool. And skins, finally! So, skins are something that have kind of become a thing with events, but not entirely. For skins, the main thing I just want is a cosmetic change. Um, especially because event characters aren't useful. Because they're so... You, you can only get them to such a level, and you can't really use them when you're playing competitively. At, because they just you can't get them high enough level to be competitively viable. Um... I've said for ages that back, especially back when the leaderboard was just fixed, like, and I don't want to sound like, oh, it's rigged, just, it didn't reset every month with seasons. I wanted the top players to be able to have a supersonic skin. It wouldn't be time limited, you just had to get maybe top 10, top 20, top 50, I don't know. You could switch to it, it would just be a cosmetic thing, hover along the ground, maybe have a golden fireball or something, isn't more powerful. It's just to show you that you were good. I remember a suggestion my friend Nuveno made about um, adding a crown next to people who reached tier 7 back when that was the best tier. That would have been a nice show of... Gratitude isn't the right word, but... Basically saying, Hey, you reached the top tier, here's a little crown next to your position on the leaderboard. Boom! I think that would be cool. Just little stuff like that to actually make being the best, not even the best, just being good be worth anything. Because with the track changes, the stats, the prestige leaderboard, it's not worth much anymore, honestly. The high tier prestige chests don't matter when you're already high player level, because the amount of rares and super rares that they give you aren't that much and the amount of commons that they give are only good if you're low level and you can't get to high levels unless you're high player level. Like, it's, it's such a backward system in my opinion, and it has its moments. There's just some things I think could be done better, and again, people will probably disagree with me. That's just, that's fine, that's okay, you can disagree, you don't have to agree with my opinion. Thank you guys for watching, this was kind of like a ramble video. Um, I didn't really have my thoughts super organized for this, I just wanted to kind of get what my opinion was out there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, I'll catch you next time.